Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. We just finished up Jabba Jabba's Belly, and we got engaged to Rudo. Navi, you're gonna shut the fuck up. Oh, look, she's sitting there by Daddy's side, and I really don't care. So, we're gonna take the shortcut on out of here. And normally, what I would do is just kind of, uh, head straight to, uh, the castle and turn into a dolly and work on getting book trapped. But I kind of need to set something up first, and for those who've been paying attention, you probably already know what I'm talking about. Well, that didn't work as well as I wanted it to. That, however, did. Boom! Just like that, we got another heart container. So, for those who've been paying attention, um, yeah, I, uh, definitely, like, fully fucking forgot that that one was even there last Let's Play, and, uh, I didn't even mention it, so, for those of you who watched and actually caught me on that one, kudos to you. Um, we're just taking the quick way down Zora's River here. Because, uh, really, we just need to get out of here and get going. We're heading to Lon Lon Ranch. Because we haven't been there yet. There's a song, a bottle, and we need to set up the, uh... Um... The... Everything for Epona. Also, there might be a heart piece in a uh, tower in, like, very, very back of the ranch. Not 100% sure. We'll get to that later. Let's see. Yeah, straight this way. So, if we head over to uh, actual castle, the sky is going to get really, really dark. Um, I'm not worried about this day-night cycle because we did pick up, um, uh, what was it called? Not Prelude of Light. I can't remember. Shit. Huh. It's the something of something, I remember that. I know the actual melody to it, I just don't remember the actual name of the song. Oh my god. There we go. What is it called? Sun Song! Wow. Herder Der. I'm brilliant, I promise. First things first, why don't we uh, go make a bet here with uh, Taryn? Is it Taryn? Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Taryn, Taryn. Yeah. Oh, if you notice his little thing there is actually Bowser? I feel like I pointed that out before, though. Um. Yeah, these three cuckoos I have here are super special chickens, and I'm gonna throw them into the regular mix. And, um, you find them, you get a prize. Now, we'll do this twice, because I think there is a prize for doing it twice. Start looking. Now, this is the difficult part. This is actually fucking difficult. I have no idea where these are. Uh, hey, alright. Um, uh, I'm gonna assume you're one. Oh my god. And you? No. This is where it gets difficult. Oh my god. Wow, that was quick. You have never seen a chicken finder like me before. Oh, <laughs> he's like, would you like to marry Malin? And uh, then he's like, oh, just kidding. But, uh... According to uh, certain theories, she might be the only one alive after all of these events, so, uh, yeah. That is exactly what it's Uh, well, the cuckoo finding game, yeah. 30 seconds. Okay. I think that's one. I think I know about where the other one is. Are you it? No. There we go. 
And oh, oh, hold on. I get a feeling that this is it right here. Nope. Oh my god, if I can. There we go. Sweet. What do I get? Partner, you have one. What'd you give me? Oh, more lava on milk. Alright. I'm cool for that. For that, with that. For that, with it. Against it? Mm, words. So we're gonna go to the very, very back of the ranch here. There's like a sort of a block sliding puzzle type deal. We're gonna take care of that real quick, and then we're gonna do the setup for uh, Pona, and we'll call that an episode. It's gonna be a pretty short one compared to some of the others, I think. Um, it might get up near 15 minutes, maybe. But again, I am trying to cut down on the time on some of these, because I know a lot of you, um, pretty much all of you, honestly, are not for these longer episodes. So, that's okay. I understand. Alright, now, here's the question. Um. Hmm. Alright. Gotcha. Alright. Oh, I can't. Alright. I don't know specific. Oh. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I really don't need that much space. Alright. Listen. That's enough of that shit. Alright. I can... Yes. Oh, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, isn't it brilliant? Isn't it just a masterpiece? Oh, I missed it. Oh, okay. There we go. With that, we've got that hard piece, right? So we've got a fourth of an eight container already. Look at that. Look at an ass. So, let's go over up to Malin. Because she's going to teach us a song. And then we're going to ride the horse. Gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be a whole thing. We gotta do this whole sh Oh, dude! Do we ride the horse now? We ride the horse later. We don't ride the horse now. That'll be interesting. I'll feel kinda like a dumbass, but you know, whatever. Shut up, Navi. Alright, apparently we gotta talk first. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How did you like the castle? I'm pretty sure you knew that I found your dad, but okay. <sighs> Alright. We gotta talk again. We gotta try not to cut the girl. There we go. Yep, we sure as hell are. It's up, down, up, up. Okay, I was close. Oh, wait, isn't. Oh, that's down. Okay, right. There we go. Alright, so we've got that. Now we have a bonus song, which can be used to summon the horse at any given time. As long as you're in an area where Epona can actually be ridden. Um, so, you can't get Epona onto Death Mountain. I mean, you probably could through a series of glitches. This game is filled with so many glitches. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna talk to her again. Let's see. Can I ride the horse? Alright, let's see. I might have to wait till I'm older. 
Oh, dude, that's not that big a deal. Let's speak here one more time. She's gonna call me. Okay. Well, Jesus, we really haven't spent much time in the game yet, so I guess we are gonna go straight to the temple now. I just wanted to make sure that I got all of that set up. Oh, hold on, though. I think if I either open this box, or I hit this tree... There we go. Yup. We get a gold sculpture. We get a big spider token. So yeah, with all that being done, let's go learn the song of time and turn into adult wing. And we'll wing it afterwards. There's a fuck ton of cutscenes, so. So as we head closer and closer to the castle, the weather's going to change here because we have all three of the spherical stones and uh, our basic ocarina. Yeah, there you go. You can start to see it turn gray right now. And uh, what's going to happen next is going to look awfully familiar. So, um, gray sky, right? Always a good sign. Always a good sign. Um, if you don't have a gray sky, Currently hanging over you. Well, chances are you're fucked. But, uh, nah, just kidding. You could be about to, uh, lose everything that you've ever worked for in a uh, raid by a mysterious dude from the desert, the King of Thieves, if you will. And, um, yeah. Dude, I don't even know what I'm rambling on about, but Zelda's over here, and she's like, Oh no, it's Link. Wait, I know what I can do. Throw Ocarina. With the best throwing arm I have ever seen in my life. Zelda should play football. Bloody hell. Um. Just like, wow. Uh, I lost her. Oh, right. I get to scroll through this dialogue. Boy, did you see her? Which way did it go? It went up your ass. How about that, Ganondorf? Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Heh. <laughs> Yeah, you know you like it so much later when I kick your ass. Like, dude, you get wrecked so hard later. I feel like your head is missing hair. I also feel kind of like you look, uh, from certain angles, a lot like Obama. I'm not saying anything politically one way or another about Obama, I'm just saying he kind of looks like Obama. So, uh, insert thanks Obama joke here. Camera in the work. Mm, zoom in on my precious face. Uh, oh, 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 did I get it? Nope, sure, it's buck did not. Ocarina of Time. What am I going to do with that? Man, I was just getting used to that fairy... Actually, that's kind of a dick move. You're just getting used to that fairy ocarina, right? And then, out of nowhere... Not really out of nowhere, but, you know... Like, you're sitting there, and you're like, Oh shit, Zelda's about to get kidnapped, maybe. Um... And it's just kind of like, Well, we gotta throw away the fairy ocarina that Sarah gave us. Because, uh, that's his thing. Okay, one, two, one, two, uh, I, that's actually easy. I could do that, shit. That one I can actually play on all keys there, so... Pretty happy with that. Oh my god, the song of time, what does it do? 
<laughs> not what you would think. Does not reverse time at all, does not like forward time, does not do really anything except for open the door of time, which is in a way mediocre at best. So that'll be in oh you're gonna talk, aren't you, Nabby? Oh no, you're not good. Nobody wanted to hear you talk to me. Seriously, there's a whole generation of people who grew up hearing you say the same like three things over again. We're done. It's that's all. Like no need for any more words, we just kinda want you to shut the fuck up. Oh, you know what we can do? There's a shooting gallery right here. Fuck it, let's play that. We'll give this a shot, right? <laughs> oh, he doesn't make the noise! This comes down to a lot of memorization. Oh man, if I get this on the first try, I'm gonna lose my shit. Oh my god! Wow! Ladies and gents, this may actually turn into a completionist run. That really wasn't that bad. Like, I really expected that to be a lot worse. Nah. Pretty, pretty chill. Like, it took me a second to get some of those uh, shots down, especially the uh, doubles on the ground there, but... Otherwise, pretty easy. Now we're at the Temple of Time. We picked up that thing, which wasted, like, probably not even two minutes. This is a whole thing, dude. So, one of the things that always amazed me the most is, um... Oops. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. Alright. Oh, if I can actually remember how to play the song. There we go. So we play this here. And the song does have a couple other uses. Like, anytime we see this design that's on the temple door here, on like a blue block or something, and even some places where we don't see that design, we can use it and things will either appear or disappear, depending on what's going on. Um... So that's kind of a cool mechanic, but Majora's Mask get, honestly got the better use. Um, in Majora's Mask, what you do when the uh, Song of Time uh, is played is it saves your game, and not only that, it also returns you back to the first um, moment of the first day of the first cycle. I mean, not the first cycle, but the first day, yeah, of the cycle. There we go. That's what I meant to say more specifically. So now we're in here, right? And it's a moment everybody's probably been waiting for. The moment where Pandemic gets his word. Not Link, because fuck Link, he's probably still sleeping on that thing. Except secretly, we are only. Don't tell anybody. Navi doesn't know. The Legendary Blade, the Master Sword. Oh man, how are we going to hold that? I'm like five. Actually, I think I'm like seven. Not necessarily the point. But here comes a long ass cutscene, so I hope you kids are ready. <sighs> and then Ganondorf was like, hey, remember how I was chasing Zelda? Haha, <laughs> that was just a joke. Excellent work. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. <laughs> Fucking please scroll. You led me straight to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. I am Potato King. Pandemic, wake up, you're the chosen one. Whoa, hey dude. Listen, uh, I'm not about this chosen one life, so if you could just, like, not do that. 
Like, I'd rather just sleep. Can I just keep sleeping? In a way, if you think about it, this game is almost kind of a story of, like, people interrupting Link when he's sleeping. Like, in the beginning of the game he's sleeping, he picks up the sword he's sleeping, it's just like, let the kid fucking sleep. Jesus, he probably had a day, like, a hard day in not school, right? And, um, no oh, fuck you, Rory. Um, and then, you know, everybody's like, well, now you're gonna go ooh, ooh, on this grand adventure, right? And, dude, if somebody told me I had to go on some grand adventure to save the world, I would probably just look them in the face and say, hmm, maybe. I was really sleeping there for a second, and you fucking woke me up. Granted, I might do it now, just because I'm already up, but, hmm, really not making that, like, my top choice. Look, you're big now, wink. Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. The only one worthy of the title hero of time can pull from the pedestal of time. Oh my god. Hey guys, here's a drinking game if you want to get fucked up. Um, play this cutscene. Every time somebody says seal, um, time, or hero, um, take a fucking shot. Watch how quick you get fucked up. It could be like low grade, like Kamchatka or something, man. Oh, or evil. Or evil. Rad and evil in. Mmm, Hyrule is optional. So, literally, we just picked up the sword, right? And we get our first medallion. There's six in total. There's light, forest, fire. <laughs> the tired medallion. Um, no. The water medallion, the spirit medallion, and the shadow medallion. Which, it's interesting, because, like, the light and the shadow medallion, right? They contradict each other. And then you have the forest and the fire medallion, right? So, then you have the spirit and the water medallion. Now, everything contradicts each other except for that. I mean, unless you want to say, like... The I mean, the water and the fire one also contradict each other, but... It's like, but even still, like, the, uh, spirit temple, like, the spirit medallion... It doesn't have anything really to contradict it, so it's kind of th its own thing. Which, in a way, is cool. Honestly, it's... I think it's the best, uh, dungeon in the game. Um, in terms of just overall design. Um, but we're not gonna be seeing that for a while. Um, so yeah, so now we're out of here, right? And that's cool. Pandemic, we're back in the Temple of Time, but have seven years really passed? I'm not intelligent enough to notice that you have hair around your genitals now, because I don't know what puberty is. Actually, none of probably wouldn't, neither one of them would probably know what puberty is, would they? Link would just wake up from, like, the seven years and just be like, why the fuck am I fuzzy? Not unless he, like, figured, like, somebody, like, gave him some schooling when he was asleep. But was he asleep the whole time? It's... Man, that's a whole fucking predicament there. In a deep forest, in a high mountain, and vast lake, in the house of the dead. Which was a shitty movie. We got us the sand. Oh my god, take another shot. Actually, technically, you have to take two shots. Is she... Oh yeah, she's going to just bring light, maybe? I see you standing there holding the mythical master sword. You really do look like the legendary hero of time. Two shots. Um... Believable legend. You have no choice. Well, that's shitty. Temples, five sages. One sage is in the forest temple. Okay, thank you. Uh huh. Because we are, we can't do shit. Well, 
That is unfortunate. Caprico Village, do I understand? If you're really gonna give me the yes or no option, I might actually punch the shit out of this screen. What if I just won't play my... Alright. Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, what do you say we call this one an episode? And, uh, we'll end it right there. So until next time, I will catch you later. Peace.